I thought that by now, those shingles would have healed. Mm -hmm. do, do we have an update on Diane Feinstein's shingles? Like, we were told that she's coming back any day now. It's getting absurd. And even, listen, when Jake Tapper, with all due respect, becomes uh, the voice of reason uh, on, uh, on uh, something... He, he, as a as a democratic senator you don't want jake tapper having to be pushing you to do like the common sense thing at this point <laughs> the non-collegial thing jake tapper's calling for non-collegiality <laughs> you know you've got a problem here is jake tapper talking to dick durbin about diane feinstein we need her. Uh, it is a challenge in the Senate Judiciary Committee to do our business. For example, you raised the question of a subpoena, and I haven't reached any conclusion on that. But if we go down that path, we need a majority on the committee. Uh, right now, with her absence, it's a 10 to 10 committee, and the majority is not there. And a proxy vote doesn't count in this circumstance. So it's a complicated situation. I hope she does what's best for her and her family and the state of California and makes a decision soon as to whether she's coming back. I mean, all due respect, sir, you and your fellow Democrats were very ginger and very polite when it came to Justice uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg and not pushing her to retire uh, when you had a Democratic majority in the Senate. How'd that work out for you? How'd that work out for Roe v. Wade? Well, I, I can tell you that uh, you can uh, play these out and try to guess what the Supreme Court opinions resulting from it will be. Uh, the bottom line is, though... Uh, Pause it for a second. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> it's a roll of the dice. So it's a, wait, 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 wait. I can't believe it. Are, is, is Dick Durbin really trying to even create a, an iota? I understand this is a side story. But the idea that he's trying to create even an iota of doubt <laughs> that had not Ginsburg retired earlier under Obama... And granted, they couldn't replace, they, they still had one seat extant, but the idea of two seats extant wouldn't have created more pressure and would have met, wouldn't have made the subsequent stuff more illegitimate. I mean, honestly, really? Yeah. Can you really actually say that in public? Is there nobody watching this anymore? Is there nobody like, what, like what? What's what's going on here? This is nuts. Does he wear these on TV? I mean, is he also aware how dumb he sounds when he's trying to say like, well, it was just it was a gamble. We couldn't have seen Dobbs coming. We couldn't have seen the Re we couldn't have taken the Republicans at their word that they were over this decades long project trying to overturn the woman's a woman's right to an abortion. Like that, that's what the entire political project behind conservative judges has been centered around. Yeah, are you aware of politics, Dick? Yes. Do you work in politics? I mean, at least Diane Feinstein has an excuse, buddy. You're just like, I don't know, ineffectual. <laughs> All right, but let, let's, I, I didn't mean to stop it there, but that was just, I don't know, just so ridiculous. Go ahead. Tire, uh, when you had a Democratic majority in the Senate, how'd that work out for you? How'd that work out for Roe v. Wade? Well... Well, I, I can tell you that uh, you can uh, play these out and try to guess what the Supreme Court opinions resulting from it will be. Uh, the bottom line <laughs> is, though, uh, we have in the past uh, had members of the Senate, I can think of a handful as I'm sitting here, Democrats and Republicans, who've been ab absent because of medical conditions for lengthy periods of time. I want to treat uh, Dianne Feinstein fairly. I want to be sensitive to her family situation and her personal situation. Uh, and I don't want to say that she's going to be uh, put under more pressure than others have been in the past. But the bottom line is the, the business of the committee and of the Senate is affected by her absence. President Biden's going to meet. He just said two things that are contradictory. What is the bottom line? I mean, is it really? I understand. I want to be polite to her and her family and this and that but that is like not even we put them on the scales next to representing the state of california please and <laughs> i want to be polite to the, and the mi tens of millions the, the of people judiciary she i mean it's just unbelievable that the guy has the 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 balls to say this in public it's just unbelievable to me and where is Ch where's Chuck Schumer? I... 
can't can't somebody else put uh, you know their uh, concierge ticket in and say I, I'm interested valet. instead of like yeah instead of like a, my valet service this week I would like you know California to have some representation. I mean it is it, it's stunning. It is just stunning that this is taking place and is taking this long. It is it is a abject failure of democratic leadership. It, 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 I mean. And maybe it is because they are afraid of, like, giving a leg up to one candidate or another in the California Senate race. I mean... Or I, or bringing more attention to sen, uh, senil, senility, senility uh, when Biden's running for re-election. Maybe that's part of it. I don't know. I mean, you know, there is there any doubt? Uh, listen... Joe Biden's not, uh, you know, um, you know, like a uh, moving like a like a like a spring chicken. But I mean, Diane Feinstein, she re she retired. Not going to run for election. And when the press came to ask her about it, she said, I don't know what you're talking about. At a certain point, it seems the, like it it hurts Biden because it just keeps this in the like consciousness. One hundred percent, because what we're watching right now is a I, I mean i don't i don't know how this would play out but we're watching out a scenario that could theoretically play out with biden i mean she's not there doing her, even the she's not even pretending to be there we don't even have with uh feinstein a uh weekend at bernie's uh type of situation here where they're just like propping her up they can't even do that anybody responsible with this honestly I, I mean, I don't. Uh, Does Dick Durbin just not want to do his job? Like, I understand that they want to confirm judges, um, but does he? Uh, gen does he actually not want to do anything that might be a little bit risky I, with Clarence Thomas? I think they are so incapable of rising to the moment that it's really just a question of like, there's only one thing that Dick Durbin can do. There is really, literally, only one thing he can do. They're probably lobbying on the sides. What they need to do is now put political pressure and they need to basically publicly embarrass everyone associated with this so that 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 embarrassment builds and they do something because it's either Feinstein's family or staff or both that are sitting around and allowing this to play out. Or they are undergirding somebody else's agenda in the way that you impact them in society is you embarrass them and make them feel like her legacy which i don't I, I wouldn't necessarily be praising anyways but they think her legacy has value tarnish her legacy that is the only way to get this to happen that's it and it shouldn't have had to have come to this they should have they should have taken care of this a year and a half ago yeah. her legacy is tarnished because they did not do the right thing in forcing her out if she really is incapable of making these decisions and is refusing to step down, then this is on the people that are supposed to be having her best interests in mind because her legacy is certainly tarnished. I think Normie Dem's response is to this. It's horrible. They're worried about the Supreme Court. Yep. Abortion's the number one issue that's going to be on the ballot for Democratic voters.